as always, it is so great to have you here and I hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. Anyways, today we're making a classic Mediterranean dish that's not only packed with a ton of flavors, but it's the kind of food that's going to make you feel like a million bucks. We're talking a Mediterranean pasta salad. And let me tell you, this pasta salad is filled with layer upon layer of so much Mediterranean goodness. It's made with simple heart healthy ingredients. And the best part, it's all done in about 30 minutes. Folks, serve this pasta salad next to a couple of slices of baguette that have been drizzled with olive oil and a bottle of Spanish white wine, more specifically from the region of Rias Paisas, you're going to have yourself the best moment of your day. All right, let's just dive right into this. I'm going to fill the stock pot with some water. You want to go to a little over the halfway point. Then we'll season generously with sea salt and heat it with a high heat. Once it comes to a boil, it's time to add in the pasta. I'm using rotini here, but you can also use fusilli or even bow tie pasta. I'm going to measure out two and a quarter cups, which is eight ounces or 225 grams, and add it into the stock pot. And as always, you don't have to mix the pasta around continuously, but do it every one to two minutes. That way it doesn't stick together and it all evenly cooks. Once the pasta is perfectly cooked al dente, which is exactly seven minutes in my case, so make sure to check the package instructions in the pasta that you're using. We'll remove the stock pot from the heat and drain the pasta into a colander. While the pasta is cooling, let's get the rest of our ingredients ready. I'm going to start by thinly slicing one small red onion. You can also use yellow onions here or even a shallot if you like. We'll also cut half of an English cucumber into small bite-sized pieces. One red bell pepper into small bite-sized pieces as well. Thinly slice half a cup of black pitted olives, which is 60 grams. And roughly chop a handful of fresh parsley. And you want to end up with about a quarter cup of chopped parsley, which is 15 grams. And for the final ingredient, we'll drain a can of chickpeas into a colander and rinse the chickpeas under some water. The size of the can that I'm using is 15 and a half ounces, which is 440 grams. Then we'll move back to the pasta. Once it's cool enough to handle, it's been sitting here between five to 10 minutes. Let's start assembling our salad. I'm gonna transfer the pasta into a large bowl, along with the drained chickpeas, and all the ingredients we chopped. For the final step, let's make a very simple homemade dressing that truly takes this salad to the next level of goodness. I'm gonna add in three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil into a bowl, which is 45 milliliters. Important to use a great olive oil here as it's what really flavors the entire salad. Make sure you can get the Spanish one I'm using in the description box below. We'll also add in one tablespoon of white wine vinegar, which is 15 milliliters. Finely grate in one large clove of garlic. As always, if you don't have a grater, you can just finely mince it. Add in one teaspoon of dried oregano, which is one gram. And season with a kiss of sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a whisk until it's well mixed together. Then we'll pour the dressing over the pasta salad and season everything with sea salt and a generous portion of freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a mix until everything's well mixed together. And you can serve this at room temperature or even add it into the fridge and serve it chilled. It'll hold for up to three to four days in the fridge. Either way, check it out. Our Mediterranean pasta salad is done. Gorgeous presentation, heart healthy ingredients, and all done in a little over 30 minutes. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. As always folks, now it's time for the moment of truth. Let's see how this turned out. Hopefully it tastes as good as it looks. Here we go. Check that out. You know, like I told you at the beginning, the kind of food that makes you feel like a million bucks, 
because we use some heart healthy ingredients that got so much flavor out of this. And of course that homemade dressing, taking this to the next level. We saw this easy to make, done in a little over 30 minutes, give it a try at home. Once again, next to a couple of slices of baguette, that have been drizzled with olive oil and a bottle of Spanish white wine from the Reason for Dias Baixas, you're gonna have yourself the best moment of your day. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Sam Cohen, Kent Anderson, Grace Suarez, and Amy Martinez. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. Leave me a comment below. And as always, don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. That way our Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego.